This is gonna be painful as shit. Where the hell do I even go? At least we took that fucking guy to overtime, but Jesus, dude. We get 150 coins, we get the extra 200 coins, and we get another 500 for the training camp. Uh, I'm not playing the squad battle or the rush games. I'm not gonna get the auction. We will get the extra one for completing the set. Can't even see your friends' teams anymore? That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of. Uh, we'll do this really quickly to earn a mini pack. Oh my god, there we go. So let's get our, let's get our free mini pack. I think we got extra coins out of that too. Up to almost 3k. And we got an 81 overall choice pack for the objectives. So as, as shitty as that was to get matched up with uh, a team like that, we, we at least did relatively well. We at least did relatively well. Um, and we get a bunch of this stuff, all of which can contribute to, uh, to sets. So that's good. Again, we have the Matthews. Is Prokop available still? He's not. Yeah, we have the Matthews at least. Let's open up our packs that we've earned. We get three base packs for the Moses debut goal, the Karen's debut goal, and the Bergeron debut goal. I uh, don't want... The, well, I guess actually, yeah, we do want to take the jersey pack as well for the trade-ins. You're right. Um, I don't know if I'll make any... Of, well, I guess we could make these our jersey because I have the Kraken jerseys and those count as golds. God. What do we want to rock here? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's put the USAs on, I guess. Probably do that. Can I not do that from here anymore? There we go. Jesus. Russia jersey now, please. Ah, eh, too late. We're popping on the USAs. I'll be. I'll probably won't even use those. I mean, if I get a jersey in a pack, I switch it. So <laughs> our look will constantly be evolving. Uh, so we have three base packs that we have to add. Base pack number one for the Steve Moses goal. Joe Snively, 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 Leighton Feist, Noah, a uh, Jonas Neffen, Jonas Neffen, Benjamin Tardif. Rochester Amherst, Keaton Thompson, Tempera jersey, a thousand coins, which doesn't help too much. Uh, let's pop on the Rochester jersey. See if we end up doing that. If we pull a rumble, does it count? I mean, if we pull a rumble, he gets the captain card immediately. Um, we'll also pop on the Kamloops jersey, and we'll see, uh, God, what happens next. Oh, we were so close to winning that game. <laughs> That's all I can think. We were so damn close. Pack number two for the Rory Karen's goal. We get the old school Ducks jersey. Nicholas Hart. Jonas Erickson. Cameron Butler. Casper Dietrichson. What a name. David DeHarnay. That's a good little upgrade for us. Bob Adams as a coach. And Andreas Janicki, who will also... Be a, a decent little upgrade for us. It'll be a decent little upgrade for us. And then we got one more pack for the debut goals and then our other packs to run through. Um, I didn't check whether or not Charlie DeRoche had any points in the last game either. I gotta remember to check that. Assistant captain card, Barry Colts jersey, another Moncton jersey. Cody Eakin, that's a decent upgrade for us. Dawson Mercer, Nick Savoy. Liam Kidney, Goalie Mask, J.S. Dia, not bad. Brendan Perlini, I mean, as much as these golds for everyone else are like, oh god, those are shit. For us, that helps a lot. Uh, we might have about a 74 to 75 overall team by the end of this. We might. Um, before we open the two other packs we earned from the sets, and we might still have more, uh, let me go to my team and make sure that Charlie DeRoche, who is our, our star player for the day, that he didn't have a point. No point for DeRoche. So we missed out on a, an extra pack. We have these next two from the first sets. Mini pack, and then that 81 choice will be uh, a major, major help. He'll be tied for our highest rated player. We got a No One Sound jersey, an Inbrook jersey, the Red Wings horrible jersey, Tim Wolgamuth, and Connor Horning. Cool. So we have to activate that Red Wings jersey <laughs> and that Owen Sound jersey. We'll see what ones we actually end up wearing. Like I said, we're going to be rotating through that stuff pretty fast. So for the moment, let's check our line uh, after this 81 pack. We'll check our lines and then see what we're dealing with. We get Dimitri Orloff, Ryan Strom, Jonathan Bernier, or Matt Zuccarello. Let's be honest, would Jonathan Bernier have made any more saves than Jeremy Brodeur? I don't think he would have. Is it really worth upgrading the goalie? With how this game plays, I don't think it is. I think it'd be way more valuable to us. I mean, the rebounds were shit. He, you're right, that's fair. He did give up a crap load of rebounds. Otherwise, I'm looking at Zook. I think I'd rather go for the offense of Zuccarello. What do you guys think, Bernier or Zook? 
is it really worth upgrading a goalie? I mean, all the hut lords will say a six foot goalie doesn't matter anyway. You guys are saying Zuccarello. Add Zuccarello, come on down. We're going with Zuccarello. Flo would take Orloff. I just think our defense is going to be shitty enough as it is that it almost doesn't matter. Like, honestly, we almost have to be able to outscore our opponents rather than shutting them down. Okay, so immediately, let's go and just go best lines for our team. Highest overall. And we're immediately up to a 77. So the Matthews is in, uh, which is great. I mean, again, we didn't use him in game one accidentally. I will use him for game two. So it's Zuccarello, Matthews, Bastion, Perlini, Eakin, Shaw, Snively, Dia, Hashashak, uh, Wolgamuth, Deharnay, and Hart. Uh, I do prefer righties being on the right to start. Tomas, thank you for the prime sub. We'll take out Nick Hart, although he has protectors, so we can. We'll take out Wolgamuth, and uh, we'll get Bergeron back in there, even if he's on the off wing. Is there anybody with a half decent OBR that we still want in? I think Bergeron's the only one. Where did Bergeron. Ber is Bergeron on defense? Where the hell did it put Patrice? He's a 74, isn't he? Was it a one game loner? Was he at the top of centers? I missed him. Fuck, okay. Oh, that's right, because he's a fucking X Factor, so I completely missed him. Gotcha. Centers, yeah. I, I always forget the X Factors are at the top. My bad. My bad. Uh, and this way we can get Bergy. At least on to the third line right wing spot. I mean, God damn it, Cody Eakin's going to be my second line center. Is there anybody that we can take out for this guy? I don't think so, to be honest. Nah, he's pretty much our best bet. Steve Moses, the legend, is already out. Like, he could run Dawson Mercer. We're probably going to want, as Jinnicky is our new goalie, over Brodeur. I was going to say, we might just possibly be able to get something out of this. Jinnicky's 5'11". Jesus, excuse me. That... That was awful. Jeremy Brodeur is six foot. Neffen is six foot. And William Russo is six foot. We're running with Shineki then for now. So I think we could look at our team and maybe possibly potentially squeeze a bit more synergy out of it. But even then, it's it's probably not even worth doing at this point. And honestly, I just noticed if I go best lines, the AP auto adjusts, but it is what it is. That'll come in handy later on. In terms of sets, I think we have the one tip collectible that we need, right? How many tip collectibles do we have? Coach, I'll apply too, but we still have other sets we might be able to run through. Yeah, we got the one tip card. Let's roll for it. And uh, we'll go through all of this nonsense, and that'll get us an extra player's pack at the end, right? We got to make sure we do this. Got to run through all of them. Oh, shit, there are players in here, actually. Reese Rayside and Jan Vesely. And Matt McNamara. Okay. That actually helps a lot. I didn't realize there were bronzes and silvers in there. That's perfect. There's no time limit on re-rolling bronzes and silvers, so we can just roll them completely out. And uh, race side will immediately be used here. You have to turn it for the next thing. I mean, honestly, that's a good thing. I mean, I've done this before on my main account, but who the fuck remembers any of this? The good thing is it basically then won't eat into the cards that we already have in the collection. So we get a Toledo jersey, Sammy Rajaniemi, and Trinek. Make the Trinek jersey active. We'll make the Trinidad and Tobago Goonfish jersey active. Maybe. Oh, it's glitching. Oh, it's breaking. Okay, there we go. Oh, this game. This game, this game. All right, so David Doucette is on the outs, and that Innsbruck jersey also being turned in. That's perfectly fine. Run through the fifth set as well. I knew we'd have decent a decent amount of setup. What are the odds we get Rumble here first? A very high. Rostislav Dij, Evanoff, and uh, Makai Sanders. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, we will definitely pack Rumble here. Uh, over packing him on the main account. Alright, we are going to have to give up our first gold. Um, did I not turn in the last one? Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Well, let's see what we get in this. We'll have a tough choice to make. Just skip it. Lapena, Matt Irwin, and Yanni Tuparainen. Another goalie. He's also six foot. <laughs> so Keaton Thompson was it? Third, uh, third pair left defender. He is definitely out. And then honestly, Matt Irwin might be gone too, or David DeHarnay. Um, honestly, let's let's just take Keaton Thompson out, and we'll turn in him and uh, Matt Irwin. Oh, cool. You, you can't back out unless you have someone in the lineup. 
Are you allowed to do Hot Rush? I am, but I'm just not going to, because, yeah, I don't really feel like doing anything AI-related. It's because the EA sliders for AI gameplay are about as bad as the online sliders, so it's like you might as well play online. And if you beat somebody with as bad of a team as we've been using so far, uh, you get to tell them to delete their account, and they legally have to listen. Like, if I beat that last guy with his 98-rated offense, he would have legally had to have deleted his account. It would have been great play online in Hot Rush, too. I mean, true, but, I mean, don't you draft the team every time in Hut Rush? Or do you use your own team? Eh, it's just, I don't, eh. eh. All right, Keaton Thompson, Matt Irwin, get the hell out. And we have earned a player's pack. Come on, please. Something ridiculous to start us off. Will Borgen. Well, we have a right side defender now. Will Borgen. Alex it. Yes. Yes, I'll take that. He's useful. He's very, very useful. We'll take that. We got Logan Thompson as an updated goalie. He's six foot three. We have a goalie who's over six foot. Imagine, imagine. Uh, Timothy Cass, whatever. Cole Perfetti, I'll take Cole Perfetti. Not bad, not bad. Dan DeSalvo, he might actually still be useful. Raphael Audette, 64 overall goalie, 5'11". Our X Factor was Bergeron. Jonas Odin. Sean Day and Christian Fisher. Okay, hey, you know what? That's not bad. It's not the best pack in the world, obviously, but for us, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, Alex Debrinkit instantly becomes the best player on our team because of those tip trade-ins. Now, I, I was thinking about the other sets, to be honest, really, that there's nothing I'm going to be able to do with these, let's be honest. Um, even the team building sets, as much as I'd love to do it, uh, we can't afford to take the investment. So let's see what we can do in terms of our initial item exchanges. Uh, we have absolutely no jersey numbers. Captaincy, uh, fuck. Well, we might as well just... You, <laughs> honestly, captaincy is pointless, so whatever. We'll just use them. I mean, we could assign them to people, but who cares? Our initial celebrations, we had one out of those early packs. And for goalie masks, two. All right, so we're nowhere close with any of those. Uh, the item exchanges. Bronze logos, zero. <laughs> God, we're definitely going to have to rely on the players, but I wanted to see our progress here. Five out of 25 for the jerseys. Silver logos. Zero out of everything that we've opened so far. Silver jerseys. Three. <laughs> Moving on up. Uh, gold logo. None, because obviously we're still using the Kraken logo. Now, gold jerseys. This will work because of the international jerseys. Thank God. So we are going to get a premium pack out of this, which is good. Those USA jerseys are immediately gone. Arena and coach, obviously not. We have a couple of coaches. We got to see who the best one is. Um, let's open that premium pack before we start doing the other player exchanges too. Like there's a lot of business to handle. Premium pack for the jerseys. Victoriaville. Mike Vecchioni helps a little bit. Nicholas Schlegel. Schlegel? I don't know. Linus Holmberg, Joel Lassinati as a goalie, 5'9", God help us all. Denmark jersey, celebration, Jacob Paquette, Frederick Bergvik, and Dmitry Zabgorodny. That, uh, that doesn't help at all. Bergvik is 6'1". We'll, we'll apply the Denmark jersey, affectionately known as Danmark. Yeah, that was a god-awful pack. I mean, at the very least, every pack helps because of the sets, but that was god-awful. So, one more look around our team. To be honest, normally, like, when we did this in NHL 19, I'd say our team's getting too better, you know, too, is improving too fast uh, for these lower divisions, but man, if we're getting matched up against good teams anyway, then fuck it. 79 overall team's not a bad way to go. Uh, can we get Snively out of here for Bergeron? And then is there, who's my highest rated guy that didn't get put in the lineup? Highest rated dude that didn't get put in the lineup. Uh, Mike Vecchioni at a 76. And then there's Cole Perfetti at a 74. So to upgrade Bergeron, that's why I'm saving the coins, but to upgrade Bergeron, we have to land on it. I can't upgrade him whenever I want. I figured that would almost be too easy. I mean, it's up to you guys. We could actually just have it that I can upgrade Bergeron whenever I want. And we can take off the AP update and the X Factor update. That's up to you guys, but I figured we'd make it more difficult. Uh, we can move DeHarnay over to the wing. Although, honestly... So we are going to have to have at least one righty on the off wing. I normally don't like that for the sake of puck protection. But unless we can take out Andrew Shaw 
for Cole Perfetti. Perfetti is a lefty, yeah. So we'll take out Andrew Shaw for Perfetti. That's not a major loss. Let's get DeHarnay on the left. Stash, what's happening? Let's get Cole Perfetti on the left. And honestly, I mean, God, yeah, Bergeron's going to have to go down to the fourth line. That's that's our team for the moment. As horrible as that is. And then our defense is Giordano, Borgen, Flurry, and Horning, Day, and uh, DeRoche, who is still in. And still, are, honestly, because DeRoche is our featured player, uh, I am going to put him back on the top pair still. For I mean, we'll take him out after today's games. We got two more to go. I'm not even worried about setting up the power play lines. We have Thompson and Schlegel. As much as I'd love to get other X factors, it's not really going to happen. So we still don't know if that's the final version of our team because we do have some rerolls that we can do. What are the other objectives that we got here? An extra 750 coins. Uh, we completed our first milestone for a mini pack. Dude, the servers are borked right now. And an extra 250 coins for completing a set. Uh, we'll open that mini pack and then we'll run through uh, our player rerolls. We're going to have a lot, a lot of bronze and silver rerolls, which is nice. So yeah, our team is going to get even better. Uh, we get Connor Corcoran, who might be usable. We also get the legend Bob Adams and a Kelowna logo. So shout out to the Kelowna logo, which we will now use Team of the Year McDavid pull, if only. Get someone who doesn't give a shit about Hut pulling all the best stuff. It's the way to do it. So really quickly then, Connor Corcoran was the one useful player there. I don't think he was that much better than DeRoche, uh, but I prefer to use him over Horning. Just because we've used Corcoran in franchise before. And I like Connor Corcoran. So, all right. That is the team for the moment until we see what... Uh, yeah, we did miss out on Pro Cop, unfortunately. Um, we didn't start this early enough. Let's see what we get out of these rerolls here now. We're going to have quite a few of them. That first game helped a lot. Us not getting shut out in our first game was huge. Going to put a bronze goalie for the extra synergies. I just... I mean, I could hold on to a bronze goalie, but to be honest, at this point, it is almost like... I'll hold off on using bronze goalies if I can. Um, I think I just used one or two, but honestly, the issue... Uh, we have one bronze goalie left, so we'll hold on to William Russo. And yeah, we will make him the backup. The issue is, though, there's a wheel spin that says use your backup goalie. <laughs> Which would pretty much be an automatic loss. We can let go of all those guys, use them in the reroll. We'll get two more gold players. These are the sets that might just be able to help us out here in the early stages. Say goodbye to Martin Bucko already, unfortunately. Good old Martin Bucko. Again, we're going to have a lot of these upgrades. Jeremy Brodeur, one and done. Jeremy Brodeur, unfortunately. Uh, Levchi, who was terrible on our top line left wing spot. He's gone too. Uh, Zav Garodny. Steve Moses scored a goal. Hate to get rid of Dawson Mercer, but we'll do it. And hopefully we can strike gold, literally, with these packs. And that brings us to the, the final five there. In terms of the premium gold, we are not going to have enough to get anywhere close to this. I thought I borked the servers again, to be honest. Like, <laughs> this is brutal how bad these servers are. Uh, yeah, no, we don't have anybody to use there. We'll double check the gold upgrades once we open these packs. So we got the one uh, silver players pack. Obviously, we're not expecting much. This is our best chance at a rumble. It does not happen. We got David Lilia and Oscar Ullman, who will pretty much go immediately back into rerolls. And we got four gold players packs from those silvers. Kyle Wood and Nick Delorier. So we get another right defenseman in Kyle Wood. That helps out a lot. Pack number two. <laughs> so we get Charlie McAvoy. That helps out a lot on the right-hand side. And we also get Dylan Dubé. Whew. Okay. All right. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Next up, Brandon Sutter and Jake Gardner. Also not terrible. I was tempted to add a rule to not open this many of the packs, but honestly, it's like we got them. We already earned them. Let's roll for it. And our last one, Nico Hoivenen. And Michael Repic. Okay. All right, we got some more upgrades. We got some more upgrades for sure. Let's go back to the team. Whoo. Toivonen's huge. Or Hoivonen's huge? Okay, I'll look at him. It's so fucking stupid. Uh, even, franchise or hut, goalie ratings don't matter. Literally, it's just, is this goalie tall? 
So Logan Thompson, I would have liked to have used you. Hovenin is 6'7". You are right. We'll say hello to our starter. And Nico Hovenin and his mustache. And we will take out Schlegel for William Russo. So that's three golds to uh, automatically use. Defensively, we know we want DeRoche to stay. This definitely means Connor Corcoran is out for Charlie McAvoy. And again, I'm not going to go best lines yet. DeRoche has to stay. Or at least has to be used. Although, why is our backup bronze? Because he gets us three synergies instead of two for a silver or one for a gold. Um... We want to leave DeRoche in for the episode. I'm going to put Kyle Wood in here, though, for the moment, just to make sure I don't accidentally trade him in. Uh, so remind me to put DeRoche back in. And then Sean Day is going to be out for Jake Gardner. So Sean Day is out for Jake Gardner. So our defense, after just one game, is immediately looking better. Um, and then for the forwards, let's see what we got. So Vecchioni at a 76. Who's the best player? We can put in here. We're going to have Dylan Dubé as a left wing. Brandon Sutter as a righty. We can make that work. Uh, Cole Perfetti. Hate to say it, Cole. You were here for a short amount of time. We are going to take you out for Dylan Dubé. Since he's a lefty. Just making sure. Okay, so DeHarnay and JSD are the next two that are in danger here. And uh, we immediately have Nick Delorier that we can bring in for DeHarnay. Uh, obviously, DeHarnay is faster, but... We'll go with Delorier for now. I mean, obviously you saw just how physically dominated we were <laughs> in that first game against that super team with a 70-rated club. And then the next guy we can use, we have Perlini in. Uh, so honestly, it's our choice between DeHarnay, JSD, and uh, Mike Vecchioni. We'll use David DeHarnay. Well, actually, I, I don't know who's better at face-offs. So I don't really care, to be honest. We'll use DeHarnay. So those are the guys for the moment. We still have re-rolls to do before we can get into game two. We knew there would be a lot of management. A lot of management indeed. So Bergeron, again, I am allowed to upgrade him. I just, uh, it's up to a wheel spin. Uh, I mean, that's how I assign the rules at least. Again, we could remove that and just say I'm allowed to upgrade him. I'm still going to use Bergey no matter what. Uh, he's not going anywhere. So here we go. Our initial gold upgrades. This is huge that we've already hit these. Uh, Dia, Vecchioni, perfect. We're not giving up anybody that we don't want to give up. So we have at least one gold pack on the way. Again, though, that has an hour-long timer. So this is the last pack that we have. It's a premium two gold players pack. Come on. Come on. Nick Ellers, not bad. And Joseph Koshinash, who is 6-1. But we get Nikolai Ellers. That's going to help out the offense a lot, too. That's going to help out the offense quite a bit. So Kozinosh, I uh, don't really have the desire to use. Uh, we might as well just stick with that lower overall tall-ass goalie. Go with the video game meta. But Ellers can replace David DeHarnay, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Dubé should be able to play center. 55 faceoffs. I lied. It might be Nick Delorier that gets, that gets booted then. Or for the moment, we could boot Bergeron. Honestly, yeah, I think for the moment... Well, damn, we might not even have the proper center. Brendan Perlini. Can't really take draws. Fourth line center spot's going to be pretty weak. It's uh, It's got to be Delorier. we got to eat Delorier out of there. Uh, and we will get Nick Ellers in there. So our left wings have just improved drastically. This is pretty much the version of the team we're going to be able to use. So it's going to be Ellers, we'll have Perlini all the way down on the fourth line. Honestly, it's not bad. Bastion goes from first line right wing to fourth. That is not bad at all. I'm going to use Sutter over Fisher. So it is still not exactly a great team. We're actually going to take out Will Borgen so that we can bring DeRoche back in for the next two games. We will still play him on the top line. So he has a higher likelihood of getting points. And we'll have Jake Gardner in over Hayden Flurry. So if I have a coach that has Booming Shot or Applesauce, we're in a good spot. We have to remember all the new players. Well, I mean, it'll be easy to tell who the new players are after the game. Uh, and we do not have a coach that fits, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not even close. So fuck it, we'll just leave them all there. Okay, so our team heading into game two. 
This lineup has changed drastically. Ellers, Matthews, Debrinkit. We are going to use Austin. Uh, Zuccarello, Eakin, Sutter. Dubé, DeHarnay, Fisher. Perlini, Bergeron, Bastion. Defense, again, we're still going to use DeRoche uh, for the last two games. He was our chosen player of the episode. He's with Geo. Gardner and McAvoy, Flurry and Wood. Goalies, screw the overall. We're going to go for 6-7, uh, Nico Hoivenen, or Hovenen. Um, and we'll just hope for the best. And then William Russo as the backup helps us get protector at the very least. We do not have a head coach that really fits what we're doing here, unfortunately. So we managed to get all of that despite the loss. We actually get another milestone. And we actually get one more base pack. I didn't see that coming. But we do get one more base pack. I can't imagine we'll get anything overly usable in it. Famous last words. And then we will spin the wheel uh, to decide what the challenge will be for game number two. One more pack. One more pack. It's a base pack. We're not expecting much, but you never know. Uh, we got a pretty sweet away jersey. Penguins jersey. Brampton jersey, or Cape Breton, excuse me. Uh, Mateo Drobak, who we definitely won't use, but it is uh, another bronze goalie. Chris Brown, not that one, but former Portland Pirate. Uh, Matthias Ronberg, Lieberek jersey, Samuelson might help. Celebration, and a Red Deer jersey. So we will activate the Red Deer jersey and the Lieberek jersey. Those will be our two for the moment. Uh, I don't think Samuelson was actually good enough to make the lineup anymore, nor is Chris Brown. So that's uh, that's honestly pretty impressive. So we're rocking a 78 overall team. So up from 70 to a 78 after just one game. Let's spin the wheel and see if that is actually the team that we'll be rolling with in this game. Well, we won't be using Hovenin, will we? No, we won't. 